Welcome to On Point. I'm Tim Murphy, and today I am on location. It's uh, On Point on the road. We're at the Art Gallery of Algoma with one of my new best friends, Yasmina Jovanovic. I, I just love saying your name. You know that. How are you? I do know that. I noticed. <laughs> Are you doing, I'm doing well? well? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for hosting us here today. And thank you for coming and visiting the gallery. I well, I am a new member of the Art Gallery. I joined last, well, just earlier this week, I guess. No, it was last week. It was last week. Time flies when you're having yes. fun in the Art Gallery. Yeah. Uh, $25 is all I paid, and I'm a, that's a year membership. And yes. for that membership, not only do I get entry anytime I want to come into this Art Gallery, but I also get entry to a number of other Art Galleries in Ontario. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, throughout uh, the Ontario we have reciprocity with other galleries because we all join what's called uh, Ontario Association of Art Galleries. Mm -hmm. We pay membership to that so that our members can get the, you know, the advantage of going into other places for free. For free. And also I get to shop in the gift shop and I get discounts in the gift shop. Yeah. How much do I get off? 10% at any time and uh, quite a few times a year we offer 20% discount for members only. Members only discount. I get it. You yes. can too. And of course you get the benefit of just being able to come down here. You know it almost feels... Um, one of our crew members here, Aaron, was, he's a, he loves art and he's an artist himself, and he was talking about how it just gives him a sense of, of peace and tranquility and calm. And it almost is like a, I don't want to say church, but it is almost like a place where you would go to just uh, be in your own thoughts. And that's very correct. It's true. And it is actually sort of like a sanctuary for people who need to find peace and need to collect their thoughts. So art provides that, and that's known. It also challenges, I think. Art can challenge oh, you. Yes, art can challenge you too. And some people, sometimes, depending on what's on display, people will get very um, interesting reactions. <laughs> Do you get some people who uh, um, are emotionally charged? Yes. Yes. yes, we do, again, depending on what's on display and how it talks to them. So it could be very emotionally charged. The thing, and, and here's something else to remember. I remember uh, my sister is, is a, writes beautiful poetry, and she's now an, an also a published author. Um, I never really understood poetry, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think poetry and art, graphic art, visual art, paintings, very similar in that there is no right or wrong, mm -hmm. there is no judgment, it is what it is to you, um, whatever message you get from it, that's perfectly all right. Is that, do you find that to be true? That is true, that is true, because you have also to think about how the art piece was created. It's not uh, created just from the technical perspective, it's created from emotional perspective as well, and from thoughts. So each piece has a story, and the artist was trying to transfer uh, uh, words into visual language. So art is visual language, universal visual language, so people who don't speak English will also react to the painting, so it doesn't really know boundaries. Now that's true. I never thought about the language part of it. It speaks, it speaks to you in whatever language you think in. Yeah, and what, you know, the music is the same. The dance is the same. Yes. And Can, also, believe it or not, uh, ma uh, math and science is the same. If you yes, look at that's the formulas true. <laughs> but, and did you and know? The they are universal. So this is just the visual side of it. The other thing is too, with, with uh, you mentioned math and science, th that music is yeah. really based in math and science. Music is all numbers. Yes. So, you, you know, those are universal languages that people understand uh, through the centuries, regardless of what their actual language is. And then you also do, I, I really respect you because you get great ideas for this space. Just now I was admiring uh, the, one of the recent uh, exhibitions that y y Yasmina was involved with here was called Art in Bloom. Yes. And this is, a, this is the thir third year? Yes, this is the third year we're doing this and uh, it is gaining popularity hugely. Like this year uh, there is a main event when we open the exhibition officially and we have all these floral arrangements on display and they're beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. This year every florist in the city and some artists participated. So. And the concept, this is, I love the concept. The florists were invited to come in and to look at the art on display, on display. and if, if, if 
one. Choose, choose one. one that spoke to them. Yes. And then create a floral arrangement or some sort of an artistic arrangement with flowers or some people used actually wood yes. um, and yes. anyway does, yes and they then create this and put it beside the painting that inspired you and write a little bit about why you were inspired and what and so you end up with multiple levels of artistic expression exactly and uh, they were most of them were at the event at this dinner event and one of the florists said that she until this that evening and that was the first time she was participating she didn't ever believe that she was an artist but she could see looking at these displays and her own display and the artwork on the wall that they are artists and they are creative which they are <laughs> see you you brought something out inside of her and once again there was a dinner event you do great yeah. things in this yeah. we'll talk a little bit more about the other events you have in this space and some of the other great ideas you have and that you are looking forward to implementing as well but we're going to take a quick break right sure. now stay with Yasmina and I, Yasmina and I as we uh, visit the art gallery of Algoma right here in beautiful downtown Sault Ste. Marie on the waterfront this is On Point I'm Tim Murphy we'll be right back So you might think that you come to an art gallery and you wander around, there's paintings on the wall or pictures or whatever, and you go, hmm, okay, that's the art gallery, and then you leave. But that's not the case. That's not what, it's certainly not the art gallery of Algoma, and certainly not under the direction of Yasmina Jovanovic, because you have, you turn this into a multi-purpose venue. So let's just talk about, just give me a rundown of some of the great fun events you've had here. I know I... Sorry, that was, oh, this is the microphone. I, I thought I hit my microphone, but I'm using this one. <laughs> I was here for a Bonsu event when it was wine tasting and desserts, and it was all different desserts paired with different wines, and you could also admire the art on display. Bonsu event, so it was combining the festival with art, with lo local artists, as well as wine and desserts and local restaurateurs. What other kinds of fun stuff have you done here? Well, we have done a lot of events in my seven years here, so I'll just mention a few. Uh, the very first one that we did was the first year when I came and it was Bollywood. Bollywood, so you yes. invited, that was Indian yes. Uh, yes. In dancing? Was, yes, it was, and... Uh, food? Food and decor. The whole space was decorated with Indian colors and flowers and objects and saris and it was just absolute uh, explosion of color. Wow. So, and it was very popular. So we did actually over the years three of them. You've had to, I hope you have more, because I didn't get to that one, and yeah. I did hear it was a huge yes, success. It was. The last one was a couple of years ago, so maybe next year we'll do another one. Okay. Uh, so it was called The Night in India. Pardon me. And again, we have saris and people dressed up and uh, dancing, beautiful dancing. So everybody ends up dancing, not just the, dan the Indian dancers, yes. but the... the, the, the <coughs> Public, Pardon the people me. that come in. Yes, me to talk about dressing up. Do you do Halloween events? Yeah, we did one. It was uh, wine tasting uh, with Winnie Greco, and it was called uh, Witch's Brew. Witch's, Witch's <laughs> Brew at the art gallery. Yes. Uh, and then you've also had St. John the Baptiste. Yes, we did have that one a couple of years ago. It was a great event. We stayed until midnight. It was fun. And it was party. music, and yes, lots of wine and music and, yes. and French food. So so it was good. <laughs> and then we had Mediterranean night where we celebrated all the countries around on, on the Mediterranean. Whoa. Uh, so that was fun. You and had a mushroom festival? Yes, we had that in conjunction with the exhibition by uh, the person uh, that is currently living and uh, working uh, in Toronto, Sarah Fabrero. But she's from the Sioux, so oh. she did an exhibition, Kitchen in the Basement. <laughs> <laughs> that speaks to every Italian in Sault Ste. Marie, doesn't it? So it was a video uh, installation and uh, uh, we had a few sessions uh, as part of, in preparation for the exhibition. So uh, the one at the gallery was about mushrooms and we had <laughs> Italian food and, and music and everything. Then we also had uh, pasta making here at the gallery. It was a small workshop with um, ladies showing and baking here and then we had at 
the Marconi Club, we did this in conjunction, in partnership with Marconi, we had sausage making. <laughs> <laughs> you see, so this is what I'm saying. The art gallery isn't, you, it's not what you might think it is. It's so much more than just paintings on a wall. It's, it's a public it is, space. It is a community engagement and uh, the boost to creativity in different forms and shapes. And creativity comes from every walk of life. So you can be creative in many fields, not just visual art. Now, and the variety of artwork that you have in here on, on any given, at any given time, artists from where? Where do you represent artists from? Well, we have always local artists in the gallery shop, which is sort of an extension of exhibition spaces because it does represent at any given time what our community has to offer. We also have uh, every February as part of Bonsu, we have Winter Festival of Art. So last year, this year, in February of uh, 2018, we had 93 participants. Wow. And we uh, have a jury that actually selects uh, the best in show and two other mm -hmm. uh, prizes and also some honorable mentions. So that's a very popular exhibition. Yes. Now, and in, in this room right now, right we're now, surrounded by beautiful yeah, art. We have only one local artist currently on display because the, uh, this is an exhibition from our permanent collection. Oh. And uh, there is the local artist, John LaFord, yes. uh, indigenous artist. Uh, oh, that's on just the up on the yes, far wall. We'll, yes, we'll make sure that yes, we get some of yes. that. So, but that's because it's in our collection and oh. it's uh, depicting the spirit of the rapids. Is that what that is down? Yes. Oh, yes. and, and, and yes. that's what the one that Trevor created a beautiful, huge floral arrangement. As that, part of the yes. uh, Art in Bloom. Yes. Um, we're going to actually, we're going to change locations for our sure. next little segment because there is a, this, there are three different galleries yes. in this building as well as um, the classroom, as well as the office gallery space, shop. the gallery shop. The, and the, the little cafe at the back. And the little cafe where uh, Yasmina has big plans for the little cafe yeah. and I hope that, <laughs> I hope that happens one day. But anyway, we're going to take a quick break, we'll come back from commercial and we'll be in a different uh, gallery, one that I love because I am a huge fan of the Group of Seven and we have some, yes. we have some of the Group of Seven on display right now. Yes, we so we're going to go there next, so stay with us on point. We'll be right back after this brief message. Welcome back to On Point, and once again, we are on location at the Art Gallery of Algoma with Yasmina Jovanovic, who is the director. What is your title, director of? Executive director. Mm, it's like <laughs> a director. Uh, but there's nothing pretentious about Yasmina or about this gallery. This is one of the most fun, feel-good, uh, hands-on, experiential places. Right now, we we're try, in a- We try, we <laughs> No, you do a great job. Now we're in a smaller gallery. By the way, Yasmina says that if you have any money and you would like a gallery named after you, every Everything's available for naming rights, so yeah, get a hold of her and bring your checkbook. Um, behind us, group of seven. Yes. Uh, a lot of A.Y. Jackson. Yes, a lot of A.Y. Jackson, and the reason for that is that A.Y. Jackson was coming here later after the group. The group was formed uh, in 19, 1920. Okay. They started coming here in 1918, after the First World War. They fell in love with the place. They found the, uh, the experience not just uh, inspirational in terms of what they can, could paint, but they also found the nature here healing. Wow. and very spiritual experience for them. So they kept coming. The group was formed in spring of 1920, and the group ended, that was disbanded in 1932. So oh. they accomplished what they wanted to accomplish, which is establishing something truly Canadian in Canadian art, visual art field. So uh, following that, actually, A.Y. Jackson owned property in Montreal Harbor. So he was coming here uh, long after the group was uh, not in existence anymore. And uh, therefore, we have quite a few in the collection. And there are also there, there are A.Y. Jackson pieces in private collections in the area as well. And, and another one, the yeah. late member of the group, Casson, was the one who opened the building here in uh, 1980, when this building was open. Yeah, Elsie actually, Elsie yeah. Savoy brought yeah. him up here? Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, good for you, Elsie. And we have pictures of him cutting the ribbon for this building. Imagine that. With Elsie and all the other dignitaries. That's fantastic. Now, so how many pieces, do you know offhand how many pieces you have? 13. That, wow, that's impressive. <laughs> yes. Um, the largest collection um, uh, would be the McMichael Gallery or no? It's large, yeah, I don't know the numbers exactly, okay. but the other two that have significant collections would be AGO, 
Art Gallery Art of Ontario, Gallery, yes. and the National Gallery of Canada. Oh, of course. Now, yeah. you would ultimately like to see more representation yeah. from the Group of Seven at the Art Gallery of Algoma. Yes, absolutely, because this is the birth, like they formed the group when they were coming here. They uh, defined and finalized their style as they were coming and painting here. So Algoma is in the title of many, many works in all those other collections as well. So yes. it, I think it would be appropriate to consider this sort of like a birthplace of the, the p style of painting. And there are other uh, areas that you think, if, if so in a perfect world, if Yasmina could wave her magic wand of, of funding, <laughs> you would like to see dedicated galleries in this building, so one gallery could be the art for the group of seven. Name a couple of other people that you think, or uh, other representations that should be in existence here, if you could do it. If I could do it, and if I had that magic wand, wand of funding, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to see in permanent, on permanent display indigenous art, and it doesn't have to be just from our collection. It could be um, a local and national indigenous artists, contemporary artists as well, but dedicated to indigenous art because this is a very important uh, place for indigenous people, and we are on their land. Well, are you ever on their land? I mean, this literally would have been where we are on the waterfront here at the base of the rapids. This would have been absolutely the meeting place. This yes. would, this is Bawating, the right? The gathering place, yes. Yes. And it's still important in in their culture, and we should honor that. So, and another person that uh, I think deserves uh, to have uh, a, a dedicated, dedicated space. space is our own Roberta Bonder, Dr. Roberta Bonder, who is not just a scientist and astronaut and medical doctor, she's also a very accomplished photographer. And we do uh, hold her exhibitions. In my time, we had two of her exhibitions, actually three. She was uh, with another artist in the third exhibition, but it would be nice to honor her for her artistic side as well and have a dedicated space with her photographs. And as you pointed out in our first segment, arts and science, they, yes, they, they go hand in hand. Yes, they do, they do. And they're also creative, both fields are creative. You're never gonna get a Nobel Prize for science if you're not a creative person, so you have to think of something. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and the other thing that we talk about in, in Sault Ste. Marie in terms of tourism or um, the, the culture is that we, Sault Ste. Marie needs to be a destination, right? One of the goals that we want to do, one of the goals we have for the city is to give people a reason to come here. Yes. And, and if we had those kinds of exhibits you're talking about permanently on display that were paying tribute to uh, these local artists, to... Uh, local tr culture. Local culture to, to uh, truth and reconciliation. If we're yes. talking about being the hub of tr truth and reconciliation here, then it, that would only make sense. So these are ideas that you have that we hope that one day Maybe they will come through. <laughs> we'll wave that magic wand of funding. Yes. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to show them some of the area that we're having some troubles with, yes. where, where you have a now a, a GoFunding campaign yes. going on. Yes. And we'll promote that. And then we'll, we'll uh, talk a little bit about how the community can get involved and help make this space even greater than it already is. That's right. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back with Yasmina right after this brief message on TV, on point. Well, now I'm taking you to a part of the art gallery that not everybody gets to see. <laughs> and uh, actually, where I am right now is the area that is uh, in, it's under construction because we had a flood. What was that like for you? Well, it was uh, very stressful. It was shocking, really. How, when did this happen? When did you first discover that you had well, an issue with water? It was late fall and then the winter came and everything froze and we just had to wait and see. So you discovered that there was a problem yes. with water seeping through bef and then it froze and you yes. couldn't do anything about yes. it? Yes, that's right. That's right. And there was a lot of water coming in all day and uh, we were here, luckily, so nothing got damaged because we were able to staff. We were able to actually keep the water contained and uh, so we just it, it, so you know where we are in the building. This is actually the storage facility. Yes, this is part of the storage. And as you can imagine, when you're talking about works of art, you need to have an environment that is uh, very controlled and very steady and stable, and uh, with humidity and moisture and dryness. Yes, yes, yes. Temperature. So this isn't ideal. 
Not yeah. ideal. And this is one of the reasons why you recently have had to actually cancel some planned exhibitions? Yes, we did. We had to change our exhibition schedule and that was frustrating as well and stressful and not See. knowing when are we going to finish uh, the repairs here, how much money we need to raise, how is this going to go. So a lot of unknowns. So very interesting year so you far. You were <laughs> stuck because you can't move the art around in a room that isn't safe. That's right. And also because it's blocked off, so everything is pushed away from the wall. The shelving unit, the artwork had to come out and you can't really access the rest of the room. Right. Okay. So now this is, and what you've done now, you've had people in here who've cleaned all the yes, water. Yes. It's dry. It is dry. The fans are still running. So if you hear the noise, we those do. are the fans and they're running 24 seven for months now. And this all happened just after you did a whole new HVAC system last year yes. at the tune of like 400, $500,000. Yes. yes. And, 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 and the roof repairs. And uh, anyway, then this happened. And then this happened. So <laughs> the this is only a temporary fix. Um, so, at, yeah. the, but this temporary fix, by the time all is said and done, the te estimate is? Well, we are actually just waiting to start with the, the repairs oh. first outside and then inside. So this is all going to be closed in again. So we have access to the storage. Okay. And uh, the, the outside work should actually protect uh, the wall from any further water leak. And this will cost us uh, roughly about $25,000 with everything that was involved with this whole thing. So we okay. need to try to raise that money. Okay, so we need to raise $25,000 just to get us by yes. in the meantime. Then there'll be some uh, larger capital cost projects yes. coming up after that. Yes. So to help raise that money, we're doing GoFundMe campaign. Yes, that's part of the, the whole fundraising strategy. So we're also planning some other fundraising events and some other initiatives. So okay. throughout the year, we will try to continuously raise more money. Uh, the GoFundMe campaign, how, the, how can they access that? Is there a website? It's, to go it's on our website. It's www.artgalleryvolgoma.com. Okay. That's the gallery website. It's on our Facebook. Right. And uh, <clears throat> we have uh, already over $1,000. So we are very grateful to all the donors. And we hope that more will donate. Any amount is fine. Yes. Uh, from $5 on. Yeah. Uh, and, and we also issue tax receipts for anything that's above $20 if someone wants a tax receipt because we do have charitable status. Okay. We, they just have to contact us so we can issue the proper tax receipt. That's good to know. So, and, and now, once again, I want to talk about the fact that people might think that culture, art is um, a luxury, but you and I both know that you don't have a community unless you have yeah. culture. You don't have the community unless you have culture, and you also don't even have a nation. Imagine the nation with no culture. What would define that nation? So culture is integral part of everyone, whether we realize that or not. So this is not, and also when you're talking about, once again, a destination, people coming to a city, people expect that you're going to have these sorts of things. We are, and we're learning more and more. The city has certainly come around to realize that That's we can't right. be a one horse town. We can't just be a, a blue collar, no. uh, rely on the steel industry and whatever else. No. We need to expand our horizons and show that we are, we are indeed naturally gifted. Yes, we are. And also so tourism is uh, now including culture in a big way. So the last three seasons we get uh, bus tours that come for the culture. And what about off the ships? Do they come of the, uh, the tour ships? We should they, get them having coming yeah, here. Yeah, they don't come actually uh, or in an organized manner. Uh, there are there is one line that uh, lets people just walk downtown okay. and they come. And we, I was actually asking Mike, our cameraman, he said he hasn't been to an art gallery. I was like, well, what would make you come? What kind of an exhibit would make you want to go, walk into an art gallery? And that's something that I guess as a programmer, you have to, as a director. Yes, yes. and we try to diversify our programs uh, all the time. So we have something for everybody. So if you're out there and you're watching this show and you're thinking, well, I want a reason to go to the art gallery, get a hold of Yasmina and say, if you put this kind of an exhibit <laughs> on, I'd come in. You know, would you listen? I would listen. She listens, you know. So anyway, we're going to get out of this environment and yeah. we're going to go back to a healthier room. That's Although right. this is pretty, this does feel quite dry. And Yes, it is because of all these, uh, everything that Service Master did and all the fans that are running continuously. So Doing a great job. Yes. But ultimately though, this entire wall 
have is, to come down. Well, ha eventually, the entire exterior wall is going to have to come down and rebuild the wall on the outside of the art gallery. That's the capital cost we're looking at down the line. Yes. But for now, you can help out by at least getting the temporary fix and donating to the GoFundMe campaign. That's right. Thank you very much for uh, giving it's us the opportunity my pleasure. to promote that because we do need the funds and we do hope that the community finds value in, in having the gallery and uh, helping us. Right on. We're going to wrap up in here and then I'm going to head out to the lobby and I want to just show folks the gift shop and yes. I will say goodbye from the gift shop but I want to thank you Yasmina. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. You're, thank you for all of your you're support. All, you're always a delightful guest and you're a lovely host and we'll come back again and talk about more initiatives yes, you have going on. Once you change exhibitions you're welcome because we do change on average our exhibitions every three months. See that? We'll be so. <laughs> so, so once you have new say, exhibitions up. We always say there's always something <laughs> on right. TV and at there's the art gallery. There's something at the art gallery. Okay. We'll be right back after this brief message. Stay with us on Point. I'm Tim Murphy. This is On TV. Well, thanks for joining me here at the Art Gallery of Algoma. Right now, I'm uh, in the cafe at the, at the Art Gallery, and uh, I'm just enjoying a cup of coffee with my friend Roberta Bondar. Here, Roberta, have a little java. Uh, so you can come down here. Uh, we have, the only day the Art Gallery is closed are Mondays, and they have extended summer hours on Wednesdays. They're open until 7 p.m. And if you want any information on the summer programming, because we didn't even talk about that, kids, uh, whatever, you can bring your kids down here. they got programming for them. Check it out on their website or come into the Art Gallery and see what they have to offer. I want to thank Yasmina again for hosting us today. I'm Tim Murphy. This has been On Point, and we'll see you next time on TV.